Today is Rad's birthday. There is a small birthday party at his home tonight. Rad's mother has prepared a list of guests. She has written each guest's name and their phone number on a piece of paper. Raj too has listed his friends' names whom he would like to invite for the party. It is going to be a great party and lots of fun with lots of guests. But isn't it difficult to store the list written on papers for a long time? What if it gets lost during the arrangements? Well, there is a solution to it. You can store such information in computer in the form of a database. And Microsoft Excel is one such tool which allows you to do that. Let's learn how you can use Microsoft Excel to create a database. So, what is a database? A database is a collection of information related to a subject. For example, your school library has information about the books available in the library or the attendance register that your teacher uses is a database of students present in the class. How is a database useful? It helps us to organize, retrieve, sort and edit data. Let us learn more about creating database in Microsoft Excel. Database consists of fields and records. Field is a column within a database that contains only one type of data. For example, name or address or phone number. Record is a row in a database. For example, a friend's information, that is, his name, address, phone number, together is a record. Field name is a column label for a particular field in a database. All the field names appear in one row. For example, field names such as name, address, phone number, appear in a single row. Now that you have understood the common terms used in database, let us learn how to enter data in Microsoft Excel database using data form. Before that, let us understand what is a data form. A data form is a dialog box that helps you to enter or display a complete record in an effortless way. Data form has text boxes and command buttons. Text boxes allow you to enter data in fields like the name of the person. Command buttons help you to manage the data. For example, it helps to create new or delete old data. Before you add any record in the data form, your worksheet must have field names at the top of each column. Microsoft Excel uses field names to enter records in a form. Data form displays one record at a time. You can use data form to add new records Change the existing records. Delete any record using data form. And view the record which matches with the specified value or criteria. To use a data form, select any field name in a worksheet. Then select data and click form. The data form appears. Let us now learn to add new record in a data form. To add new record, first click any cell. Let us click cell A2. 
select data and click form. The worksheet dialog box appears. Here we have used phone book as the sheet name. It contains the record of the first person in your database. Next, click new button. Type the information for the new record in relevant text boxes such as name, address and phone number. Click close button to close the data form. The record gets added in the database. As mentioned earlier, you can use data form to search the records with specific values or criteria. For example, if you know the name of the person whose information you require, you can specify it in the data form and find their details. Let us understand the process of searching the records through an example. To do this, select data and click form. Click criteria button. Type the data that you want to search in the appropriate field. For example, type Rupa in name text box and press the enter key. If Rupa's record exists, it will be displayed. Otherwise, the first record will be displayed on the screen. To navigate to the previous or next record, you can click Find Previous and Find Next button respectively. If you have a record that is no longer valid, such as details of a student who got transferred to another city, you can use the delete button to delete that particular record with the help of the data form. To do this, click data and select form. Navigate or move to the desired record by clicking on find next button or find previous button. And then click the delete button. A message box for confirmation before deleting appears. Click OK to confirm. The desired record will be deleted. Let us summarize what you have learnt in this video.